Um, all right, cool. So I'll start with um, a reading for everybody generally on Earth, for everybody who's listening. This all applies to us in some way. And again, um, we know that we are receiving guidance that is relevant to us as long as you hold the intention for that in your heart and you just pray and then all you have to do is trust and pull you know, the first cards that come to you without even thinking about it, without second guessing or doubting yourself. Um, so I have pulled um, three different cards and um, I love these cards because um, first of all we've got the heart chakra card coming up again and um, this is a card that says that there's been a lot of extra emotional sensitivity that has kind of been collectively out there in the world right now. Um, a lot of people have been kind of discussing or talking about um, the last you know month or so and then even gearing up into the next month or two as we, you know, we go into welcoming in 2015. This is a time where there's a lot of energetic shifts that are going on for people and for people who are extra sensitive to that sort of thing it's going to make you feel even more emotionally sensitive than usual and for for those of us who are already very emotionally sensitive it's just like ah it can be you know through the roof sort of thing um, but it's a blessing because when you feel that extra bit of emotional sensitivity it's a way that your um, highest self your you know your true self is communicating very strongly with you remember that your feelings are always your best friend your feelings are your divine compass that are always leading you straight back to God and you know, leading you towards where you need to be on your highest path as a light worker. Um, so honor your feelings right now, and especially you know in the coming weeks or coming months, whenever you feel you know heightened sensitivity, and just do whatever it is you feel you need to kind of lift yourself up and um, open yourself, you know, to the energetic shifts that are happening for all of us. The second card that I've got on this reading is wonderful. It says playtime. And the playtime card is so good because um, whenever there are a lot of um, shifts, a lot of sensitivity, and there's a lot of intensity going on, going on globally right now in this world, um, there is a need to balance out that with laughter and love and joy. Remember, everyone, that you know we all have you know very unique life purposes in this world, but we also share a single life purpose that is all the same, and that is the point of life is to love it, is to enjoy it, and to live with play and love and laughter and joy because that is how we make earth life just like heaven. And that is one of the big collective purposes. We are here in this world to expand heaven. We are here to make earth just another, you know, dimension of heaven as it were and it can be there's you know just we have all this wonderful creativity at our fingertips and playtime is just a, such a wonderful way to welcome in the new shifts that are happening collectively for us in our world um, now the last card that we're getting is the card that says morning affirmations right here also from one of my favorite decks the dolphins and mermaids deck um, and this card, I'm actually getting a strong intuitive sense that this idea of mourning has to do with a new beginning. Um, they're saying that at the end of, or on the other side of this big shift that is coming through that I really feel like we'll start feeling um, and you know, kind of be on the other side of in the springtime, it's going to be a brand new beginning for us on personal levels, maybe with regard to something that's going on in your personal goals with your career or even your relationship you know statuses or you know just something going on it's going to be a new dawn um, so your angels want you to know that anytime there's a brand new beginning a new slate happening clean slate happening for you in your life um, you can co-create in that space where you've got a brand new dawn starting and you can do so by choosing to hold positive intentions affirmations and beliefs empowering beliefs about yourself and shifting the order of your life towards self-love because that's truly what I feel the theme of the big shift that's going on right now through these winter months is it's this collective you know calling so that we will reorder our lives to be more authentic with ourselves which is to say to be more in line with self-love and making self-love the thing that helps to order all of our life priorities and that certainly makes it very easy, doesn't it? It's like, okay, there's my, my you know, north star 
as far as what will navigate me through life. What is the choice that is, reflects self-love the most? And that's how we can make you know some really big changes. So, um, so I love that that message for everybody, and uh, I hope all of you do too. Yeah, 